welcome back praise master jesus the conclusion is love why is it difficult is because of the rationality of the mind the rationality of the mind everybody wants to be loved but they don't want to love everybody love is good everybody wants to be loved but they don't want to love everybody now go back to first john chapter number four first john chapter number four he that loveth not knoweth not god for god is love go, go to the next verse nine and in this was manifested that the love of God towards us because that God sent his only begotten son into the world that we might live through him here in his love not that we love God but he loved us and sent his son to be the appropriation for our sins the payment beloved if God so loved us we ought also to love one another we ought also to love one another hallelujah no man had seen God at any time if we love one another then God dwelled in us and his love is perfected in us it means as that love lives inside of you across the time as time is going the love matures that's the meaning of perfected the love matures it gets better and better and takes you up in the dimensions of love hereby know ye that we dwell in him and he in us because he has given us his spirit and we have seen and do testify that the father sent the son to be the savior of the world whosoever shall confess that jesus is the son of god god dwelled in him and he in god and we have known and believed that the love that god had for us god is love and he dwelled in love dwelled in he that dwelled in love dwelled in god he that dwelled in love dwelled in god glory to god hallelujah and praise god let me tell you something many people pray they say father empower me multiply this grace in my life make me better amen someone who prays for five minutes and acts by love is better than so than someone that fast for 30 days and has hatred in his heart and many things that god checks is the things of the heart rather the things of the mouth what we think in our heart what we see in our heart when people are around you what you think and see about them is not for them it's for your love Okay, let me put it this way when you are angry with someone who does it affect the person you're angry with or you yes listen to me all emotional issues affect by the person who harbors them if you are angry the anger affects but you who is angry not the person you are angry with at times they may not know are you getting what i'm saying if in a case you are sad the sadness affects but you it doesn't affect the things you are sad about maybe the business you could be sad about does not even hear anything it's just there the issues and the problems you are sad about is just there does not hear you praise master jesus are you getting what i'm saying if you love someone and you genuinely love people the love that you have for them it works on who on you at times they may not even know that you love them 
Is somebody getting me here? The love works beyond you. So it is beneficial to you to love if love is beneficial to your spiritual life than to hate if hate is destructive to your spiritual life. So if you check the two, it, you discover that there is no reason to be angry because it's destructive to your life rather love because it's beneficial for you it means if you love somebody even if the person does not benefit anything you benefit for loving praise pastor jesus are you getting what i'm saying so these things that you have in yourself because of others choose the ones that bless you <laughs> choose the one that of importance to you and do those ones rather the ones that are destructive to you hallelujah and praise God to Jesus because that anger you have been, you have been bearing in your mind the grudges and the pain and the everything is hurting with you if at all you could change it to love to joy to happiness it will benefit with you hallelujah that is what the devil has understood every time the devil understands that you walk in love he will make people to speak against you to act against you so that you can be angry listen to me even if you are angry and he cannot get you is affecting your realm in the spirit your dimension in the spirit praise master jesus are you getting me yes even if you are angry and the devil cannot get you he knows that you speak against someone listen the devil wants the destruction at times he does not care who <laughs> Are you getting me? The devil wants the destruction. He does not care who. He does not even have a friend. So if you get angry, you are in the fifth dimension and you curse someone, the devil is still happy. Even if you are not the one directly affected, you have cursed someone, he too is happy. That at least I don't get one reason. Amen. To put someone under pressure under captivity praise master jesus are you getting what i'm saying yes that's the secret of it so living in the love dimension is loving unconditionally it's not when you're happy it's not when you're angry it's not who's for what listen to me be ready if you want to ascend in the spirit be ready to be offended be ready to be offended because if you are not offended you will not climb you will not ascend it means your heart has not been tested praise master jesus the love dimension is a dimension where oh lord there is no way the devil can get you there is no way you can be gotten by the devil because this dimension as you think miracles happen there was this guy that was lame not not accidentally from birth it means the legs were very very pale and he was in the bus and the bus was passing around the house of a man that lives in the love dimension the man was not in the house the man was not inside the house at that time but it's the man's house as the boss was passing the guy said my legs are shaking they said which legs he said my legs are trembling they said which you don't even have legs and he got up and started walking praise master jesus there was a guy mad for 18 years locked up in a room and then the sister attended the program this man that lives in the love dimension sat on the chair after that program they carried the chair because we're fighting the chair 
they started cutting the chair he said he allow them and this lady got just a piece of foam from the chair she said i trust that this is a connection point because this man sat on this chair and he went back and he told the family that open that room where my brother has been locked up for 18 years of madness they said what do you what is very very violent he said open they opened and he touched the foam on his body it is not happened after instantly insanity was restored 18 years violent madness insanity was restored 18 years sanity restored there was this woman who was operated and her womb removed he said to me is that true her womb removed then the friend said please let's go and attend this crusade say see just leave me you know my problem I don't want to believe anything say no you are not even going because of the uh, you are believing god for a child you know just come and attend and she attended the crusade and this man that lives in the in the seventh dimension said as you have come to this crusade whether you have a womb or not god will give you a baby she said in mary locked and went back and the stomach started bored you and then when the chase is pregnant she laughed she laughed Say pregnant, say you are pregnant. There's a baby in your womb. She gave birth to the child. She was still laughing. 15 years after, she was still laughing. 20 years after, the child was not dead. She brought the child up for testimony. 20 years ago, I attended this program without a womb and I gave birth to this child. Katrin Kuma says, Can you pay the price? The price is to be attacked and be quiet. The price is to be insulted, and yet you say thank you. The price is to be plotted against, you know, the people, yet you pray for them. The price is to break down every form of pride inside of you and tell God I'm a tool in your hand. I don't have any altar of pride for myself because I'm your servant, I'm a tool, I'm a vessel in your hand can you pay the price to operate in the love dimension can you pay the price a little thing you are already angry and you have routed everywhere this house must go down by fire eh? I'm on board this house I will not attend the department again let them go to hell. They know how to love you. I will not talk to you. Praise God. They know how to love. Hallelujah. Is somebody getting me this line? Amen. This is the type of love God wants you to have for Valentine's Day. The Bible says, because of your sake, Jesus was attacked, but he revived not. He revived not. He was thinking into posterity. If I revive, this man will not have power. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Anytime you vibrate in the negative emotions, you are reducing the spirit. You are wasting spiritual energy. Anger. Stressed out. Grudges. Pain. Are you getting that? You are reducing the spirit. Don't reduce the light and come and meet the third dimension. <laughs> the third dimension. <laughs> Who when he was revived, he revived not. When he suffered, he tried to not. But committed himself. To him that judged right justly. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. It does not matter the type of word you are preaching, whether it's grace or law, you need love. 
We will pray by law. Hallelujah. And praise Master Jesus. Yes. Somebody asked me, why are you like that? Somebody can speak about you. You will not do anything. You just leave it. And you can still laugh with the person and play. And I said, it's not me. There's something I want from God. There's somewhere I'm going to. If you are not careful, the little distractions around you can make you lose your destiny. You could think that it's just small, it's just easy, it's just these people, they are stressing me out. No, be careful. It can make you lose what God had for you. Little distractions, very small. The things that make us not to be able to achieve, they are not big things, they are very small things. For Mika, she just despised David. The Bible says they uh, God shot her womb. She despised, only despised. Despise. That was all. What is sin? That's all. Praise God. Hallelujah. So when we preach about love, we are not talking about, we are not just talking about a feeling. Love is not a feeling. It's not an emotion. When you feel, it means you love. If you don't feel, it means you don't love. <laughs> you know that people like that? When they feel happy, it means they love you. If they don't feel, it means they don't love you. They will tell you, I don't love you. Hey, don't try. You love who? I don't love you. The very people, when they feel, I love you. The Bible says a double-minded man is unstable in one way all all his ways praise god hallelujah so when somebody tells you they love you stop the person which love no just tell me let me know which love are you talking about if the person don't know explain all the loves let the person choose you'll be surprised the person will just choose Eros love Praise Master Jesus. And hallelujah. Are you getting what I'm saying? This is why it's difficult. Paul says, if you have this type of love with you, that passes all knowledge, it will grant you access into the fullness of God, into the pleroma of God. That's the maximum capacity of God. Into the love dimension of God. That's what he's saying there. That's what we're decoding in this Ephesians 3.19. Yes. Why? Why? Because you have been praying, Father, do this for me. Father, do this. God is telling you, I am not doing anything again. I have worked everything and kept for you. It's inside of you. It's inside of you. Just love. Just love. You know what he did to me? He said, just love. Do you know what has happened to me? Just love. Do you know, Father, give me this? He said, just love. Ephesians 3.20. Then he tells you, he says, see, it's from 19, it goes to 20. He said, now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all, we ask or think according to the word it has gone now to power so you understand that the fullness of God is related to power. That worketh in us. Not in God. It means the fullness makes you a God. So he begins to work with in you. Praise God. Are you getting me? Apostle said there are some people who are praying to God to answer them. Some of us are answers to those people. When they meet us, they have met God. Praise God. Are you getting me? When they meet us, they have met God. They have had an encounter they have been looking for. Unconditional love. Praise God. Not love because of something. Not love because of feeling. Hallelujah. Praise God. Listen, listen to me. The most, the most important aspect of love is not the way you feel. It's a commitment and a choice to stay. It's 
it's a commitment and a choice to stay hallelujah because even with God you cannot tell me that you love God all the time everything will be okay no way there are moments he will call you Sodom and Gomorrah <laughs> praise God I hope you remember the scripture Isaiah 1 he said you Sodom and Gomorrah he said Sodom and Gomorrah is even better than you apostle will call you devil so you are the devil himself not if they say devil then you are the devil himself is different it means if they are looking for devil they should come and see this is the devil here hallelujah praise god he will call you goat at times you will not have what to call you say you'll be um if i, I don't get i don't get it for call you i don't get it praise god hallelujah but he still loves you because it's not about the way he feels he's a person i know some people are just ready to be offended me just me just mash me i'll show you my true colors and you really have true colors you really have to call up because we just saw you smiling and happy. The next, the next second, wait, 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 wait. If you don't mask my toe, I will show you. Praise God, Hallelujah! Are you getting what I'm saying? That's it. And what is happening is that this character. It's not about who harbors it. Are you getting this? It's not about whether it's a man or a woman that harbors it. When God is looking for whom to show himself, and he identifies with the character, not with the gender. Then now it happens that there, there is a gender. Oh God. When they get angry in six months, that six months is the time they will use just to soft their heart first before they talk about their anger. Praise Master Jesus. I told you one time, I said that's why God is not using many women, many females. It's just this aspect. It's just this aspect not knowing how to, to to dissolve anger strain grudge pain because when god wants to use you he does not care what you feel is it in this class that i explained that he said he's looking for a channel to bless so if it is blocked amen you are in problem because if he forces his way, his way through, you are the one who is destroyed. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. If two guys argue here, the next second they are okay. Can pass, pass, go swallow that guy. They just go and be eating normal. Except it's a guy that has a bit of estrogen or a little more of progesterone female hormones get angry you see the brother you are angry angry for what praise god angry for what there's no need except you don't enjoy power except you don't enjoy operating in this dimension hallelujah because i love it i love that dimension in the name of jesus am i communicating i love it now many people don't understand that many times you can take note of what god wants to do in your life by what the devil is doing immediately you get into a series of anger 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 there's a lot you have missed in the spirit but you don't even know 
Are you getting me? Ah. So, I have understood it by experience. If something comes up that wants to get me angry, I know immediately that there's a spiritual improvement coming. So what do you do? Dodge. Dodge them. I'm very serious. You have to dodge because you now now these emotions are very pleasurable now <laughs> let me explain you know english cannot really explain the bible anger is as pleasurable hate is as pleasurable as love <laughs> now the pleasure you are thinking now is like the way you feel no anger and hate has a way of harboring in your heart and you become comfortable with 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 those emotions because of what the person did to you until you don't want to let it go the same thing like joy you don't want the moment to end that's the same thing with anger stay tuned shepherd hastens will be right back 